It's been three months since a rarely seen deep sea fish was captured in waters off Tahiti. And today, the man who snagged the elusive peppermint angelfish saw it on public display for the first time. KITV4's Catherine Cruz was there for the reunion. Hawaii born and raised Rich Pyle is a self proclaimed fish nerd. Today, he was positively beaming that his dive efforts and patience paid off. His capture of what's been billed as the second most rare fish in the world is now on display for all to see. But actually, I had to extend my dive time quite a bit. It was down a little past 100 meters, a little past 330 feet or 340 feet or so. And, uh, uh, I ended up spending 40 minutes down there waiting for him to get in just the right place where I could catch it. She was captured in Tahiti several months ago, survived the Trans-Pacific shipment and quarantine, and appears to be doing just fine. Uh, this was one of the females, very, very difficult to catch. The peppermint angelfish isn't endangered. What makes it valuable is it lives in extremely deep water and is rarely seen. It was sought after as part of a scientific mission with the Smithsonian. It would have ended up dead as a preserved specimen in a museum, but Pyle felt it would be a shame to kill it, arranging instead to have it live out its life in Waikiki. But the rarest fish in the world is also in this tank. Um, that's this other Abe's angelfish. It's also known as the panda angelfish. Um, and to my knowledge, the one that's in this aquarium is the only one that's ever been captured alive and, and, and seeing these two fish together is really remarkable. It's like if you had the original Mona Lisa and uh, Van, Van Gogh's uh, Starry Night in your living room together, it's, uh, it's sort of the two most iconic uh, fish of that group. To have rare fishes like this is just the icing on the cake. Peppermint and panda fish, eye candy. Treat yourself, come on down. In Waikiki, Catherine Cruz, KITV4 News.